everyone, it's Brian again, and welcome to another Archaeus Creative Audio Tutorial for LensPro to Go. Today, we'll be going over using compression to make sure your source audio sounds balanced and present at all times. Compression is a type of audio processor that decreases the dynamic range of a clip and raises the overall level through makeup gain, enhancing overall audibility and clarity. In other words, compression will automatically adjust the volume level of a clip for you, so you don't have to go through and keyframe every single peak or valley manually. In this tutorial, we'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro's tube modeled compressor plugin for its simplicity of design, but these principles can apply to any compressor with a dedicated gain reduction meter. Compressors typically consist of five primary controls. The threshold is the level above which the signal is reduced. The ratio is the factor by which signals above the threshold are reduced. The attack time is the time period during which the compressor is decreasing gain to reach the desired level, while the release time is the time period during which the compressor is increasing gain to reach a desired level. Finally, makeup gain, or output gain, as this particular plugin calls it, is gain that is applied after compression to raise the signal to an optimum level. Let's go over a quick example to see these parameters in action. With this audio clip, you'll notice that I've already used Premiere's parametric equalizer to balance the frequency content. If you want to learn more about EQ, check out my Utilizing EQ in Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, also available on this channel. You'll notice that the volume level varies quite a bit. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. We're going to use compression to effectively reduce those peaks and raise those valleys so that everything sounds clear and balanced. We'll start with a ratio of 4 to 1, which is sort of a de facto ratio for vocal audio sources. If your source's dynamic range is particularly erratic, you might want to try a steeper ratio of 6 to 1, or possibly even 8 to 1. Just make sure the audio doesn't end up sounding too squashed as you proceed through the next steps. Next, we'll dial in a very fast attack time of 1 millisecond, and a medium-ish release time of 250 milliseconds. You may even want to use an automatic release time if your compressor includes this function. These settings will ensure maximum transparency, which is the goal of this type of compression. One shouldn't be able to hear the compressor working. Then, begin to lower the threshold until you'll see around 3 decibels of gain reduction on the compressor's gain reduction meter during the clip's loudest parts. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. Now, I wish I could give you some sort of magic threshold at which this will occur, but since source audio dynamics can vary greatly depending on the level the audio was recorded at, you'll have to trust the gain reduction meter and your ears. Finally, we'll use makeup gain to raise the overall level. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. A good rule of thumb is to do this while the rest of your audio is playing so you can balance the level of the clip accordingly. It can also be good to A-B your clip before and after compression to compare the results with the original. That wraps up our compression tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions about other audio topics you would like to see covered, please leave them in the comments below. Happy compressing and I'll see you in the next one.